Lego Star Wars is uh, one of the most popular, if not the most popular Lego game uh, that Lego does at the moment and that is why investors collect it so much. So today I thought I'd do a video on the top 8 um, Lego Star Wars sets to invest in at the moment. So the first one is um, not actually out yet but it's the Tanu Jedi Temple and the reason I set, um, I've said this one is because of the minifigures. I mean we get a brand new Yoda in this set from the High Republic era and Liz and Kai Brightstar. I don't know, I haven't seen the series, I don't think I'm going to watch it. And I know it's really expensive, which I think is probably why a lot of people won't buy it, but that's a reason to invest in it, because if a lot of people don't buy it, then when in the future, when it's no longer available, it will be more sought after. All of these minifigures are unique, so I think they'll probably have some sort of value in the future. And I think Liz actually has a um, new hairpiece, so... The next one is the Obi-Wan Jedi Starfighter. So um, I say this one because simply because um, it has the new uh, torn wheat and we've never had a Kaminoan before. So when this set goes, um, the value for her is just going to skyrocket. And I'm pretty sure she's already qu quite valuable now. So I think it would be a good idea to um, think about getting this set for investment. Now the next one is the Republic Fighter Tank. Now this is obviously one of the more expensive Lego sets. and. I think they must be out of stock because it says it will ship in 60 days but um, the reason I say uh, this uh, set is um, because of the Mace Windu minifigure which I'm not sure is 100% exclusive, I think it may come in the uh, uh, UCS Republic gunship, although it may be a different minifigure, I don't know. But this set includes 187th Battalion Troopers which um, we have never had before and I think uh, it has this trooper which is I think is an airborne trooper. Um, and yeah, as I said, we've never had these before, so these are going to be valuable clones um, once the set really, um, retires, meaning the set will be really valuable uh, once it retires. Now the next one is a bit of a weird one, um, because lots of people hate this set, me included, I think it's stupid. And that is of course the Obi-Wan Kenobi vs Darth Vader set. Now, um, there isn't really anything unique about this set apart from the um, loader droid minifigure. And this piece here is like, it's, uh, isn't on any other minifigure, so I think that piece alone might have quite a lot of value, but the minifigure itself um, will be really valuable in the future, and I think it'll be a good thing to invest, invest in. Plus, I think this version of Obi-Wan may be exclusive to this set too, because I know he comes in the uh, Inquisitor Transport Scythe, and I'm pretty sure his minifigure, um, the uh, torso and leg printing are different. Well, the next three sets are sets that have literally just come out, but I think once they retired in the next year or so, they'll have um, quite a lot of value because of some specific things. And the first one of these sets is the Mandalorian vs. Tang. <laughs> Is the Mandalorian Fang Fighter vs TIE Interceptor. Now, um, this set, um, I think it's a great set, I've got it and I still haven't built it yet. Um, but the one thing that I think that will make this set really valuable is the um, Mandalorian Fleet Commander minifigure. This minifigure doesn't come in any other sets. Um, and I think maybe this, uh, the R2 droid in this set may be like exclusively. Uh, I don't know that, I think that might be wrong because we've got lots of Imperial R2 uh, droids in the past. But this set is really good and it's a... Um, very popular set at the moment which means when it retires it will be very sought after for people who haven't got it. Now the next set is the Emperor's Throne Room um, which again is one of the new ones. Um, but I think this, I'm not sure this will be one of the best ones to invest in but this one has a new Luke Skywalker with a new hair mold and I'm pretty sure the Emperor has, yeah the Emperor has a new uh, face too so I think these minifigures will be a little bit more valuable if they don't come out in um, any other sets which they're probably will do but either way it's a cool set and it's very popular at the moment too so um even if you do buy it for investment and um it retires and the minifigures aren't worth much i think this set will still be a good thing to invest in because of the build although the price is not nice now obviously the next one is the spider tank set now this includes a new bo katan minifigure with arm printing she's got the um new mandalorian helmet where like the bits here the cheek parts of the helmet sort of go in so of course this minifigure is different to the one we got in the mandalorian starfighter from uh, a couple years ago or a year ago so i think this bo minifigure minifigure is the one thing that you're gonna want to get because it will be worth a lot of money and i mean proof of this is um with the goss axon minifigure and bo minifigure minifigure from the mandalorian starfighter because they're worth a lot of money if you didn't buy the set and i really really annoyingly did not get the set so i don't have them so that was my top 8 Lego sets to investment, invest in. If you enjoyed, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and put any Lego sets in the comment section that you guys think would be good investments. Remember to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.